so hello students let us start with the femoral triangle and the femoral sheath so hello to all of you So hello students, uh, let us start with this topic femoral triangle and femoral sheath. Very important topic, hai. the basic topic, how the femoral triangle is formed, the femoral sheath, let us understand this. Okay, I'll draw a slide for you students, just have a look, if you can understand this. Right. Now, these are the lumbar vertebrae, these are the lumbar vertebrae here. Uh, that's the body of S1. Students, students, can you tell me what is the body of S1 known as? Come on. What is the body of S1? The first sacral vertebra. That's the sacral promontory. Correct? Yes, sacral promontory. Yes, has sacrum. And what are these students? Yes, has pelvic sacral foramen. Pelvic sacral foramen. What emerges from here? The ventral rema of the pelvic nerves. Final nerves. So these are the pelvic sacral foramen. What is this on either sides? Is it kyabolto? This is the allof sacrum. Allof sacrum. Students are very important MCQ relations of the allof sacrum. Yaad hai aapko? Uh, this, is, uh, this is not in the topic, but I'll just tell you relations of the allof sacrum. That's S L I O. S L I O. Medial to lateral. S kya hota hai? Sympathetic chain. L kya hoti hai? Lumbosacral trunk. Lumbosacral trunk. I is the iliolumbar artery. Iliolumbar artery and O is the obturator nerve. Obturator nerve. So this becomes the relations of the allof sacrum. Okay? That's the sacral promontory. That's the sacrum. These are the pelvic sacral foramen. This is the allof the sacrum. Now up aate, we come in front. What is this going to be? The anterior superior iliac spine. Here we come in front. That's the pubic symphysis, pubic symphysis, that's the pubic tubercle. What is this part of the pubis known as? Students, if pubic symphysis is what is this part of the pubis between the pubic symphysis and the pubic tubercle known as the pubic crest? That's a pubic crest. What is this ramus of the pubis? Is a superior ramus of pubis. This is also known as the pectin pubis. And there is a muscle which begins from here. Any guesses? This is the pectineous muscle, pectineous. That's the obturator foramen. This is the femur here, femur <coughs> present within the astabulum. Yeah, astabulum ke under femur. This is the inferior ramus of pubis. Now, this inferior ramus of pubis joins with the ramus of ischium. Kya bolte ho isko? What do you call this as? The conjoint ischiopubic ramus. Conjoint ischiopubic ramus. That's the ischial tuberosity behind. Yoga ischial tuberosity. Okay? So I've just drawn this slide for you. Once again, students, that's the pubic symphysis. You have pubic crest. That's the pubic tubercle. That's the superior ramus of pubis or the pectin pubis. That's the inferior ramus of pubis with the ischium, the conjoint ischiopubic ramus, the obturator foramen. Fine. Now, what is this? From the anterior superior iliac spine to the pubic tubercle. What is this? Anterior superior spine to the pubic tubercle. Yes, that's the inguinal ligament. Very good. Yeah, inguinal ligament. Now just try to understand, students. The pubic symphysis aage hai na. It's in front. The sacrum is behind. It's a three-dimensional slide. As a yad, just try to understand like this. Pubic symphysis in front. The sacrum is behind. The inguinal ligament is in front. Now, what is attached to the inguinal ligament? If I draw something here like this, what is attached to the inguinal ligament in front? Front. These are the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. The muscles of anterior abdominal wall are attached to this inguinal ligament. Okay. Which are the muscles? External oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis. These are the muscles which are attached to the inguinal ligament in front. Up the Below the inguinal ligament. Yes, space they can Below the inguinal ligament, that's between the inguinal ligament and this bone. Students, you can see the space. Uh, this is the space uh, from which 
any structure in the lumbar region or from the pelvis agar koi bhi structure hai if it has to come in the femoral region yo know, that's the space here and this space is what we call as the pelvis ye pelvis hai pelvis femoral space that's the pelvis femoral space and now what comes through the space that is what you have to understand i'm making the femoral triangle for you rather than just telling you the boundary floor hai na so we are actually making the femoral triangle fine now understand this students if you can quickly answer this what is this muscle here which begins from the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae bol sakte ho students come on come on come on answer answer be interactive what is this muscle which begins from the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae a muscle which goes below the inguinal ligament dekho ye inguinal ligament ke niche se aaya and it gets inserted into the femur ye piche jata hai it goes back and gets inserted on the lesser trochanter of femur any guesses students what is this muscle this is a muscle which helps to flex the vertebral column ha huh? or this is the muscle which helps to flex the thigh it flexes the hip joint this is the psoas major muscle psoas major begins from the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae goes below the inguinal ligament passes through the pelvic femoral space inserts on the femur on the lesser trochanter and students what is this nerve there's a nerve lying on the psoas major this is a very important mcq students just remember this the nerve lying on the psoas major is the genito femoral nerve just remember this genito femoral nerve and going further um, if you can just tell me the genito femoral nerve ke do branches hote hain ek hoti hai femoral branch and the other one is the genital branch right that's the genito femoral nerve with the femoral branch and the genital branch and the genital branch of genito femoral nerve yes what is it concerned with a reflex can you answer this what is that reflex the cremastic reflex yes very good cremastic reflex because ye jo genital branch of genito femoral nerve hai that supplies the cremaster cremaster muscle perfect ye ho gaya psoas major now students if you can quickly tell me what is this fossa ye fossa ka naam kya hai iliac fossa and what is the muscle attached here the iliacus right that's the iliacus and this iliacus would come below the inguinal ligament like this and get inserted on the femur ye piche jata hai i can't make like that so i'm just drawing it for you like this that's the iliacus so iliacus ban gaya that's the psoas major now students if you can quickly tell me what is this part of the pubis known as that's the pectin pubis or the superior ramus of pubis and there's a muscle here any guesses what is this muscle that's the pectineus ye ban gaya pectineus right and there is a muscle which begins from this pubic uh, the body of the pubis what is this muscle this is the adductor longus muscle adductor longus so that's the iliacus that's the psoas major that's the pectineus and this is the adductor longus which begins from the body of the pubis now there's a muscle which begins from the anterior superior iliac spine look students how beautiful this is can anyone tell me what is this muscle which begins from the anterior superior iliac spine chalo bolo bachcho be interactive answer kariye this is the longest muscle in the body this muscle is also known as the talus muscle yes any guesses that's a sartorius sartorius okay so i'll just fill this gap ye sartorius ban gaya ye iliacus ho gaya uh what is this muscle i'll just fill in this gap huh? one moment so it will be easy for you to understand what is this muscle that's the psoas major um that's the pectineus and look how beautiful now what is this that i have drawn for you students this is the femoral triangle so following this that's the femoral triangle ye maine femoral triangle banaya we actually made the femoral triangle for you so what are the boundaries of femoral triangle can anyone answer this who's laterally what is that muscle what is this muscle that's the sartorius so laterally is the sartorius what's medial medially is the adductor longus adductor longus muscle so laterally is the sartorius medially is the adductor longus the base is formed by the base is formed by the inguinal ligament so to be very specific laterally it's the medial border of sartorius dekhiye laterally it's the medial border of sartorius medially it's the medial border of adductor long medial border dekho bachcho generally when we talk about a triangle we take it as the lateral border hai na so ideally kya hona chahiye it should be the lateral border of adductor longus but no agar aap 
lateral border of adductor longus later. If we take this uh, lateral border of adductor longus, adductor longus will be out. Okay, if we take this, the adductor longus is outside the femoral triangle, where adductor longus is not going to form the floor of the femoral triangle. So understanding, so if you have to include the adductor longus in the floor, which, which boundary of adductor longus have you to take? The medial border of adductor longus. Yeah, so once again, the femoral triangle, the boundaries, laterally, it's the medial border of sartorius. Medially, it's the medial border of adductor longus. The base is formed by the inguinal ligament. And what is the floor formed by? The floor is formed by one, iliacus, second, stoas major, third is the pectineus, and fourth is the adductor longus itself. Adductor longus itself. So this becomes a femoral triangle. Is this clear to all of you students? So ye ban gaya femoral triangle. Boundaries are clear. Floor is clear. The roof is formed by skin, superficial fascia, the deep fascia. And this deep fascia shows perforations. Aise chote chote perforations hote hai. For a vein to go inside the great saphenous vein. The great saphenous vein is going to pierce the deep fascia. And this is what we call as the cribriform fascia. Cribriform fascia. So skin, superficial fascia, the deep fascia, which is perforated, that's the cribriform fascia. You've got the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Superficial inguinal lymph nodes, they lie in the roof of the femoral triangle. Here to all of you students. Hmm. So that's about the femoral triangle. Uh, I'll just go further and tell you, look, what is this vertebrae? That's the 12th thoracic vertebrae. That's the 12th rib here. Going further, huh? Now tell me, what is this muscle, students? Can anyone tell me? A muscle which begins from the iliac crest and the muscle which gets inserted on the 12th rib. Yes. Hello, bacho. Guess this muscle. A muscle which begins from the iliac crest and the muscle goes and gets inserted into the 12th rib. This is a quadrangular muscle of the lumbar region. Yes, students. Any guesses? That's the quadratus lumborum. Quadratus lumborum. The quadratus lumborum begins from the iliac crest, goes and gets inserted into the 12th rib. That's the quadratus lumborum. And now coming to this third muscle here, which is this muscle, which is lateral to this uh, quadratus lumborum. Any, any, any um, guesses? Koi bol sakta hai, ye kya muscle hai? That's the transverse abdominal. Ye ho gaya transverse abdominal. Because students have drawn three muscles for you. One is the psoas major. The next is the quadratus lumborum. And the third is the transverse abdominus. These three muscles together are going to form what? Come on, guess this. These three muscles together are going to form the posterior abdominal wall. Posterior abdominal wall is formed by one, the psoas major, the, the quadratus lumborum, and the transverse abdominus. And now we just put a plexus here on the posterior abdominal wall. If you can quickly tell me, students, the lumbar plexus. And what are the branches of lumbar plexus? Look at this. One nerve I've drawn for you. Yes, that's the genitofemoral. There's a nerve which lies in the iliopsoas groove here. What's that? Femoral nerve, femoral nerve. There's a nerve which lies medial to the psoas major, a branch of lumbar plexus. What is that? The obturator nerve, obturator nerve. There's a nerve which lies on the iliacus muscle and this nerve comes out at the most lateral aspect of the inguinal ligament. What is this nerve? This nerve is going to supply the skin on the lateral aspect of the thigh. And this is what we call as the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Lateral cutaneous femoral nerve of thigh. This is very important. A student, they call, this is a branch of which plexus? Lumbar plexus. And this is a nerve which comes at the most lateral aspect of the inguinal ligament. And this nerve is going to supply the skin on the lateral aspect of the thigh. And this is the nerve which gets compressed against the inguinal ligament. What does the person come to you with? Parasthesia, tingling and numbness along the lateral aspect of the thigh. Yes, right. This is what we call as Miralgia Parasthetica. A very important MCQ student. Miralgia Parasthetica is due to compression of the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh against the inguinal ligament. And this lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh is a branch of lumbar plexus. Lumbar plexus. Right? There's a nerve here. There's a nerve here. If anyone can tell me what is this nerve, that's the iliohypogastric. That's the ilio inguinal. Iliohypogastric, ilio inguinal. 
एंड ये ट्वेल्थ रिप के नीचे एक नर्व होती है वॉट्स दैट द सबकॉन्सिल नर्व द सबकॉन्सिल नर्व इज नॉट अ ब्रांच ऑफ लंबा फ्लेक्सिस ओके जस्ट रिमेम्बर विच आर द ब्रांचेस ऑफ लंबा फ्लेक्सिस वन इलियो हाइपोगैस्ट्रिक इलियो इनग्वाइनल द लैटरल क्यूटेनियस नर्व ऑफ था द फीमोरल द चेनाइटो फीमोरल एंड द ऑब्चुरेटर नर्व तो ये बन गए ब्रांचेस ऑफ लंबा फ्लेक्सिस I've told you the femoral triangle. We have made the femoral triangle. कैसे muscles lumbar region से आते हैं um, और the iliac fossa से आते हैं How the muscles go below the inguinal ligament? वो space क्या होता है Below the inguinal ligament, the pelvic femoral space and how they come and get inserted into the femur. That's how the femoral triangle is formed. In addition, I've told you the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall and the branches of lumbar flexors. Students, now if you can tell me, you put an organ here. Look, look, look. Do you you put an organ here like this, and what's this organ here? That's the kidney, and all this therefore becomes the posterior relations of the kidney. Yeah, so posterior relations of kidney, medial to lateral, kya hoga? Tuas major, the quadratus lumborum, the transverse abdominis, right? Uh, the subcostal nerve, the iliohypogastric nerve, the ilioinguinal nerve. And now, which kidney is lower? The right kidney is lower because of the liver. So the right kidney would be related only to one rib, the last rib, the number twelfth rib. The left kidney is higher, so the left kidney would be related to eleventh and twelfth rib. So they they could sim simultaneously. बहुत चीजें clear होती हैं. Right? Posterior relations of the kidney is clear to all of you, बच्चों. Okay, very good. So that's about the femoral triangle. Just have a look at the slide of the femoral triangle. Here, have a look at the slide quickly. You tell me now. What is this muscle going to be? Yo, that's a psoas major. That's a iliacus. That's a quadratus lumborum. That's a transverse abdominis. This is the subcostal nerve. This is the iliohypogastric. That's the ilioinguinal nerve. That's the lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. This is the femoral nerve, and yaha pe hoga obturator nerve. And this is the genito femoral. Genito femoral. Enjoying students clear to all of you. Have a look at this slide once again. So, what is this now? This is the femoral triangle. What is this muscle? Sartori. ये क्या होगा? Adductor lumbar. That's the inguinal ligament, right? The floor is formed by that's the iliacus. This would be the psoas major. That's the pectineus. That's the adductor lumbar. Clear है सबको? How the femoral triangle is? Now, students, just try to understand this. What I'm telling you. Hmm. This iliacus, bacho. This iliacus is covered by a fascia. Wait, I'll I'll just make it like this for you. ये iliacus के ऊपर एक fascia होता है. What is that fascia known as? The fascia iliaca. So what is the fascia iliaca cover? The iliacus muscle. Of the same fascia iliaca will be coming down. It will come down. It will come down and it will cover the floor of the femoral triangle. So who's going to cover the floor of the femoral triangle? The fascia iliaca. ये फेशिया इलियाका होगा व्हिच कम्स फ्रॉम द इलियाकस कम्स इनटू द फीमोरल ट्रायंगल फाइन नाउ व्हाट इज अटैच्ड टू दिस इनग्वाइनल लिगामेंट ये आगे क्या होता है व्हाट इज अटैच्ड टू द इनग्वाइनल लिगामेंट इन फ्रंट हियर आगे की तरफ आर द मसल्स ऑफ एंटीरियर एब्डोमेन व्हिच आर द थ्री मसल्स एक्सटर्नल ऑब्लिक इंटरनल ऑब्लिक ट्रांसवर्स एब्डोमेन राइट एक्सटर्नल इंटरनल एंड ट्रांसवर्स एंड ट्रांसवर्स एब्डोमेन के पीछे देयर इज अ फेशिया व्हाट इज दैट फेशिया नोन एज The fascia transversalis. Fascia transversalis. External oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis. They are attached to the inguinal ligament. Behind the transverse abdominis, there is a fascia transversalis, and this fascia transversalis goes behind the inguinal ligament and comes down into the femoral triangle. Wait, let me show you the slide. Slide, देख लो बच्चों. This will be clear to you. देखिए. What is this view? कहाँ से देख रहे हो? This is a sagittal section. आपने section लिया है. You're looking from the side, है ना? Side से देख रहे हो. So what is this muscle now, students? If you can answer this, this is the iliacus. Iliacus. And what is this, students? That's the fascia. हाँ, fascia iliaca. And this fascia iliaca covers the iliacus, and this fascia iliaca comes down into the femoral triangle. अब what is this? ये क्या चीज़ है? That's the inguinal, inguinal ligament, right? So what is attached to the inguinal ligament? Ye kona external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis, right? What's this behind the transverse abdominis? That's the fascia transversalis, and this fascia transversalis goes behind the inguinal ligament and comes down into the femoral triangle. 
स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट्स तो आगे कौन है फेशा ट्रांसफोसालिस पीछे कौन आ गया ये फेशा इलिया का एंड दिस टू फेशा टूगेदर टूगेदर आर गोइंग टू फॉर्म द फीमोरल शीथ दैट्स हाउ द फीमोरल शीथ इज फॉर्म तो फीमोरल शीथ एंटीरियर वॉल वुड बी फॉर्म बाय व्हाट फेशा ट्रांसफोसालिस द पोस्टीरियर वॉल इज फॉर्मड बाय द फेशा क्या का आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू सिंपल है जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट दिस Look at this now. That's a femoral sheath. So, ये जो है ना, that's an anterior wall. How is that formed? Fascia transversalis. And ये जो पीछे आप देख रहे हो, that's a posterior wall. That's formed with the fascia iliaca. Right? This femoral sheath has got three compartments. Three compartments होते हैं. Uh, this I'll make you. I'll make you on this side. ये femoral sheath हो गया. That's the lateral compartment. That's the intermediate compartment. And ये होगा medial compartment. The lateral compartment, intermediate, and medial compartments of the femoral sheath. What is present in the lateral compartment, students? Students, in the lateral compartment, you have got the femoral artery. Ye dekhe, that's the femoral artery plus plus. There's a nerve here. Any guesses? Any guesses? What is this nerve? Any guesses? I just told you, students, the genital femoral nerve. And I told you the genital femoral nerve divides into a femoral branch and a genital branch. Perfect. ये जो femoral branch of genital femoral nerve होती है, it comes in the lateral compartment of the femoral sheath. ये आप देख रहे हो, that's the femoral branch of genital femoral nerve. Very important, students. Very important question. So femoral sheath has got three compartments. What is present in the lateral compartment? One, the femoral artery, and the femoral branch of genital femoral nerve in the intermediate compartment who is that femoral vein and in the medial compartment this is empty what is that known as is the hum bolenge femoral canal femoral canal right now the upper part of femoral canal look 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 students ye jo upper part hai na femoral canal ka what do you call this as that's the femoral ring ye hai femoral ring and you have to know the boundaries of femoral ring the boundaries of femoral ring i'll tell you yahan tak clear hai students are you able to follow this be interactive come on be interactive kuch doubts hai kuch samajh mein nahi aa raha hai to you let me know okay so clear femoral sheath clear hai femoral triangle i hope everything is clear to you the boundaries the floor so femoral sheath kaise banti hai clear hai aage se fascia transversalis aa gaya piche se fascia iliaca aa gaya ye ban gaya femoral sheath इसके तीन कंपार्टमेंट्स होंगे लैटरल इंटरमीडिएट एंड मीडियल लैटरल कंपार्टमेंट का कंटेंट क्या है फीमोरल आर्टरी एंड द फीमोरल ब्रांच ऑफ जेनाइटो फीमोरल नर्व इंटरमीडिएट कंपार्टमेंट इज द फीमोरल वेन एंड ये जो मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट होता है बच्चों ये एम्प्टी होता है दैट्स द फीमोरल कैनाल एंड व्हाई इज इट एम्प्टी बिकॉज़ ये जो फीमोरल वेन है ना समटाइम्स इट ब्रिंग्स मोर ब्लड इट हैज टू डिस्टेंड इट हैज टू डिस्टेंड इट नीड्स टू हैव अ स्पेस हियर तो यहाँ पे खाली स्पेस है दैट्स एन एम्प्टी स्पेस यू आर यू ऑल फॉलोइंग दिस स्टूडेंट्स नाउ द अपर पार्ट ऑफ फीमोरल कैनाल इज नोन एज द फीमोरल रिंग दैट्स अ फीमोरल रिंग जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट आर द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ फीमोरल रिंग व्हाट आर द बाउंड्रीज आई जस्ट पुट हियर नंबर वन ये नंबर वन नंबर टू नंबर थ्री एंड नंबर फोर ये है बाउंड्रीज ऑफ ओके हैव अ लुक Now students, what is this? Ye kona hai, ye kona hai. Who's this? That's the inguinal ligament. So the anterior boundary of femoral ring is going to be formed by the inguinal ligament. Ab kya hoga? The inguinal ligament turns. Bacho bacho, the inguinal ligament turns. And what is this turn known as? The lacunar ligament. Lacunar. So lacunar ligament ye kaun si boundary banayega? The medial boundary. Medial boundary is formed by the lacunar ligament. Now this posterior boundary, the same है, वो same ligament है, वो पीछे आ गया. It lies on the pectin pubis, and this is what we call it pectinate ligament. Pectinate ligament, and whose lateral, laterally is the septum separating it from the femoral vein. Femoral vein. So uh, I'll just mention this for you. The boundaries of femoral ring. Okay, this is important, हाँ बच्चों. Boundaries of femoral ring. Anteriorly. Anteriorly, that's number one. Yeah, hai inguinal, inguinal ligament. Students, this is alternate names. Yaad rakhna. This is asked in the MCQs. Inguinal ligament ka dusra naam hai. Oparts. 
P-O-U-P-A-R-T-S, four parts लिखा Medial, medial मैंने number दो लगाया इसको, number two, medially is lacunal ligament. Lacunal, lacunal ligament का दूसरा नाम क्या है? What is the other name for lacunal ligament? It is known as Burnett. Gimbal Nets ligament, okay, Gimbal Nets ligament. Posteriorly, posteriorly, I put number three, that's the pectinate ligament. Pectinate ligament. Or it is also known as the Cooper's ligament. Cooper's, hmm? Cooper's ligament. And laterally, laterally is number four. It's the septum separating it from, septum separating it from, from femoral vein. Okay, now, laterally is the septum separating it from the femoral vein. But show, you alternate names. Just remember this alternate names. It's very important for you in the MCQ. Clear to all of you? Now you tell me, this femoral ring is closed by a lymph node. You have a lymph node. But show, and what is this lymph node known as? That's the lymph node of locket or the Rosenmuller. This femoral ring is closed by a lymph node, that's a lymph node of Clockett or Rosenmuller. And what is this lymph node drain? Students, very important MCQ is this. What is this lymph node of Clockett? Its name is Clockett or Rosenmuller. What does it drain? It drains the glans penis and glans clitoris. The glans penis and glans clitoris. Look, if the MCQ comes, penis and clitoris drains into, what is the lymphatic drainage of penis and clitoris? Remember, the superficial inguinal lymph node. The superficial inguinal lymph node. But, but show, this AIMS MCQ came from the glans penis, the tip of the penis, that's a glans penis and the glans clitoris. This is going to drain into the deep inguinal lymph node and that is the lymph node of Clockett. Okay, so what is the lymph node of Clockett drain? The glans penis and the glans clyde. Here to all of you. Fine, students. Now, this femoral ring is larger, it's wider in females. Why? Because females may kya hota pelvis wider hota hai na? Pelvis is wider in females. And ye jo blood vessels hota hai na? They are of smaller size. The blood vessels are of smaller size and the pelvis is wider in females. So, the femoral ring is wider in female, right? So what happens? If femoral ring is wider, then what happens? The chances of femoral hernia are more common. Femoral hernia is very common in females because the femoral ring is wider in females. And why is the femoral ring wider? Because the pelvis is wide, the blood vessels are small. So automatically femoral ring is bigger. The chances of femoral hernia are more. Okay, you are a surgeon. Bacho, you are a future surgeon. Uh, and a person comes to a lady comes to you with femoral hernia. Aapko wo hernia reduce karna hai. Like the intestines have come down, the intestines have gathered here in this femoral canal. Huh? Yaan se niche aage. Aapko kya karoge? You have to push the intestines back into the abdomen. But the intestines jaate nahi hai because the femoral ring is very narrow. Aapko kya karoge? Aap, you have to cut one of the boundary of the femoral ring. Ek boundary ko cut karoge. Aap, you will dilate the femoral ring. You will push the intestines up. Up mesh dal, okay? Then you put a mesh. That's how you reduce the femoral hernia. That's the treatment of femoral hernia. Right? So what do we cut? Which boundary of femoral ring do we cut? Students, whatever I've told you is very important. Yes, sir, yaad rakna. Bol sakte aap? Femoral hernia ho gaya. So which boundary of this femoral ring are you going to cut? We are going to cut the medial boundary of the femoral ring. We are going to cut the lacunar ligament, but show we are going to cut the lacunar ligament, dilate the femoral ring, push the intestines back, put a mesh there. Fine, fine, fine. Done. Very good. You are a good surgeon, but you are a very brilliant surgeon, and you know that occasionally, both rarely, there's an artery which lies on the lacunar ligament here. There's an artery which lies on the lacunar ligament and you are a very brilliant surgeon. You know your anatomy is very clear. Yes, you know that occasionally yahan pe artery hoti hai. And you know it is the abnormal obturator artery. Theek hai na? Ye hai abnormal obturator artery. And this abnormal obturator artery lies on the lacunar ligament. 
this abnormal obturator artery would lead to if it is cut it would lead to hemorrhage you know would lead to hemorrhage dear students understood everything that's about the femoral sheath the compartments of the femoral sheath uh, the various contents of the femoral sheath the femoral canal the boundaries of femoral canal the femoral canal the femoral ring the boundaries of femoral ring the femoral hernia and the abnormal obturator artery a very important topic this was have a look at this students agar aap ye dekh loge just have a look so what is this now ye dekhiye this is beautiful what is this fascia ye jo piche dekh rahe ho that's a fascia iliaca and ye kon hai aage that's a fascia transversalis fascia transversalis you know i'll just make this for you dekhiye aise banayenge apan ye that's a femoral sheath this is not seen here i'll just make it in a different color so wo dikh jayega aapko that's how the femoral sheath is ye ban gaya uska lateral compartment ye ban gaya intermediate and ye ho gaya medial compartment who lies in the lateral compartment bachcho that's the femoral artery and that's the nerve that's the femoral branch of genito femoral nerve that's the femoral vein and this medial compartment is empty that's the femoral canal that's the lymph node ye dekh raha hu that's the lymph node that's the lymph node of clotted perfect bachcho so femoral nerve is it a content of femoral sheath kya bolte ho femoral nerve does it line the femoral sheath no 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 femoral nerve is outside the femoral sheath dekho bachcho femoral nerve is outside the femoral sheath ye femoral nerve hai. why why because this femoral nerve is lying on what is this muscle iliacus it lies on the iliacus and it lies below the fascia iliaca ye fascia iliaca ke niche hota hai अगर आपको फीमोरल शीत के अंदर आना है इफ यू हैव टू कम इन द फीमोरल शीत यू शुड बी लाइंग ऑन द फेशा इलिया का यू शुड बी लाइंग ओवर द फेशा इलिया का एंड दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट द फीमोरल आर्टरी एंड द वेन डस द फीमोरल आर्टरी एंड द वेन दे लाइ ऑन द फेशा इलिया का तो दैट इज हाउ दे कम इन द फीमोरल शीत बर एज द फीमोरल नर्व इज लाइंग बिलो द फेशा इलिया का इट इज लाइंग डिरेक्टली ऑन द इलिया lies on the iliacus muscle so femoral nerve is not a content of femoral sheath ye yaad rakhna femoral nerve is not a content of femoral students if you can answer this mcq so i have told this topic a short topic we've got um lectures for first prof students on our app of pw med ed you can join those lectures you can join those uh, app based lectures So in details, you'll get to know all these topics. Okay, so femoral ring is bounded by all the following structures except yes, femoral artery here, inguinal ligament anteriorly, lacunar ligament medially, femoral arteries laterally. Uh, so sorry, femoral vein. Who's not there? Femoral artery. You know, femoral artery is not forming the boundary of femoral. It's the septum separating it from the femoral vein. So the answer for this is going to be the femoral artery. Femoral artery. Right, students? Clear to all of you? Uh, look at this regarding femoral canal, which is correct. It's smaller in females. Wrong. Femoral canal is wider in females. Right? It's wider in females. Contains the femoral vein. Wrong. The femoral canal is empty. Empty. Oh, then again. uh inferior epigastric artery lies medially that's again wrong which is the artery that's the abnormal obturator artery the abnormal obturator artery lies medially so it's the medial most compartment of femoral sheath that's the answer femoral canal is the medial most compartment of students is this clear to all of you koi doubts hai if you have any doubts feel to ask anyone anyone having any doubts can ask so i hope i've been able to explain this topic to you all your concepts are clear for more details on the topic log into pw med ed okay thank you for a patient listening and i hope all the contents of this topic are clear to you thank you thank you to all of you we'll stop here thank you in case of doubts you have got a uh, telegram channel of pw med ed you can join that okay any doubts anyone has kisi ko kuch doubts hai to bolo bachcho any doubts anyone has 
this is a very important topic from uh, the MCQ point of view, from the VIVA point of view, from the MC. From, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll stop here. Thank you to all of you once again. Bye bye.